lift off. So stretching through the left side of your body. Very good. I've joined a beginner's class in anti-gravity or aerial yoga. It's a new take on an ancient discipline that blends traditional poses with acrobatic style. And this is your anti-gravity aerial yoga hammock. This will be your dance partner for the next hour and a half. Good. Just be mindful of you. Get a little bit of release as you hit the midway point. So what you're going to get today is a mix of aerial arts, gymnastics, calisthenics, pilates, dance, twister, anything else we can think of, all within the construct of yoga. The three metre long silk and hammocks are incredibly versatile and strong, rated to support up to 400 kilos. This is called a floating Baddha and you'd be surprised at just how accessible anti-gravity yoga really is. It may look intimidating, but you'd be surprised just how quickly you learn to trust the hammock and just how much your body really can do for you. Brisbane is the first Australian city to offer this exciting new exercise style, originally developed for acrobats. How are you doing? That is right, it's perfect. But it was pain relief, not performance, that brought Ian Wisdom and aerial yoga together. Got to the stage of my very sedentary, desk-bound uh, environment, that my back from a previous injury was just getting worse and worse and worse, and I knew that I had to make a change. Um, so I decided to jack all that in and went on a bit of an adventure discovering new things and one of the things I discovered was anti-gravity in New York and fell in love with it from the day I arrived. It, it, essentially I, I'd suffered sciatica for many years and it gave me instant relief. And this practice really does come with a big smile, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a very, it's a very fun, creative, light-filled practice. It's not an austere, heavy practice. We like to say it's sincere without being serious. So, guys, we're going to do something called Vampire now, which is an anti-gravity signature move. It's very aesthetic, and you will clearly understand why it's called Vampire when you're in it. The hips to sink down. The shoulders so you can work yourself down. The same gravity-defying principle is in play at Zen Pilates Studio in Sherwood. In, in, in. Exhale. Two more times for the pack muscle. Inhale, in and squeeze. Putting that pack muscle to work. The school offers Australia's first wall Pilates classes. Instead of hammocks, harnesses are used to give traditional stretching exercises a fun new direction. Way. We're using this pelvic swing in order that you can bring the weight onto your hips so that your arm can have a deeper degree of stretch. Instructor Sandra Lay says the practice is perfect for strengthening the core. And while you get all the body benefits, you're also having a good time. <laughs> First, they think they can't do it because we're getting out from anti-gravity type work. We're on the wall, but it's really easy. I have a 75-year-old client that's doing it and she's happy she's coming back. Like aerial yoga, Wall Pilates offers the chance to decompress the spine using gravity to give your back a beautiful stretch. This is really hanging out. It sure is hanging around. What do you like about this style of Pilates? Oh, I love the fact that I feel I'm really working on my internal muscles. Yoga's great for stretching. You can do running, but this is just a real internal exercise. Mm. And it's fun. It's great fun. Zen Wall Pilates is at Sherwood and Flight School is based at West End. Both studios have introductory deals for newcomers, so check their websites for details. And if you'd like to learn how to teach aerial yoga, creator Christopher Harrison holds regular training sessions. For more ideas on making the most of your leisure time, click on to the Queensland Holidays, Queensland Rail Travel and RACQ websites. When it comes to exercise, the biggest challenge for most people is that it can be very boring and repetitive. One thing I can guarantee is that the classes at Aerial Yoga and here at the Wool Pilates Studios, you'll never have two that are exactly the same. So if you're looking for something different, a little bit of variety, I think you should give it a go. That's all we have time for. Thanks for your company. We'll see you next time somewhere else in the Great Southeast. Goodbye.